For those watching on PBS and around the globe, welcome to World News America. A public health emergency has been declared in Delhi due to soaring levels of air pollution. In response, all schools have been shut until Tuesday and five million face masks have been handed out to students. The city's chief minister said the area has been turned into a gas chamber as a result of the thick fog, caused in part by fires used to clear farmland in neighboring states. From Delhi, Pratiksha Gildial reports. It's like a scene from a dystopian science fiction movie. For a third day in a row now, residents of Delhi are inhaling the season's worst toxic air. In some parts of the city, the levels of PM2.5, the tiny particles that can penetrate deep into our lungs, are peaking at more than 500 micrograms per cubic meter. The World Health Organization recommends a maximum level of 25. I'm in central Delhi, just near the main business district and with the iconic India Gate behind me. But as you can see, it's barely visible with a thick blanket of smog around it. It's daytime, but hardly any sunlight is able to percolate the thick layer of smog that shrouds the city. The government says it's doing what it can. It has banned construction activities and plans to limit the number of vehicles on Delhi's roads. But the main reason for the toxic air here is the burning of crop stubble by farmers in neighboring states of Haryana and Punjab. And there seems to be no respite from that. In November last year, I was really ill. I wasn't wearing a mask and was so polluted last year also. And I got a really, really bad lungs. My doctor suggested me to wear a mask every day. I didn't realize how bad it will get. Do we really want our kids to grow in such an environment? No one really cares. No one wants to improve the situation. Several studies say that the pollution in Delhi is damaging people's health at an alarming rate and causing premature deaths. It really is a public health emergency. Pratiksha Gildayal, BBC News, Delhi.